Sometimes it feels like Australia has a property market with a small economy attached to it. So it's good to see first home buyers taking a bigger share in the only major investing we seem to do, homes. The share of lending to first home buyers is now at 19%. That's above the long-term average between 16 and 17%. That measure, the red line, is up a third from its recent low. But check out the hit. An average mortgage is now enormous. So even though interest rates won't seem high to those with long memories, this means punishing repayments for people just getting into the housing market. Overnight, US markets flatlined, pooped after an up and down week, while the Nikkei index in Tokyo continued its record-breaking surge. There were only micro movements in the value of our dollar in trading against major currencies today, but more volatility with our gooey friend crude oil, up 2%. Only a tiny shift for our broad index, but investors in the star entertainment group of casinos must feel like the punters at their tables. Just when you think things can't get worse, they do. Something people with AMP shares can understand. And what to do with soft plastics remains a big problem. Attempts to recycle them blew up. But think tank The Australia Institute suggests a tax on businesses that make or import plastic packaging could bring in nearly $1.5 billion a year and be a lever to boost recycling and more sustainable options. The European Union levied a plastic tax in 2021. Still got some crinkles in it. And that's finance.